Start relaxing your body. The top of your shoulders is directly on the mattress where your chest is elevated. Feeling the chest opening. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, relax the belly. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Letting your body settling onto your bed. Try to relax your knees, relax your thighs. So your hips could start opening. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Observe your chest raising up and down while you breathe in and out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. If your hips are tight, imagining you send the exhale to your hips. Relax just one centimeter more. Send your exhale to the hips. Slow down your inhale. Still conscious, so you're consciously breathing. You are trying to have really deep breath in and really deep breath out. Feeling your body start to relax down onto your mattress. Your knees getting heavier and heavier. Your hips getting heavier and heavier your lower back getting heavier and heavier. Two more deep breath in. And deep long exhale. One last deep breath and and deep long exhale keeping the eyes closed we're going to start the class your 45 minute yoga in bed in this position Feeling your body settling down onto the bed. Deepen your inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four, five, six. Keep breathing on your own with the pillow underneath the chest and your belly, feeling your chest opening. The more we can slow down our breath, 
the more we can slow down our mind. The yoga in bed practice is to give signal to your brain that your work day is over. Now it's time to relax, letting go of any tension that we have accumulated during the day, letting the energy restore and rejuvenizing, rejuvenizing your body. Intention setting. Set an intention for your practice today. Maybe think of one type of energy that you need to replenish. One restorative energy that is going to give you a better night's sleep tonight. We are going to move our hands onto our heart, straighten up our legs, and singing of three arm, deep inhale into the belly. Um. Second, deep inhale into the belly. Oh. One more, deep inhale into the belly. Oh. Relax the breath and relax your belly. Keeping the eyes closed, we're slowly going to warm up our body to start the class. Keeping the eyes closed, just listen. Bring your knees towards your chest and give yourself a really good hug. Roll to one side of the body so you could remove the pillow from the bunk and have a flat mattress for the start of the class. Lying down onto the mattress, we're going to do a lie down warm up today. With the left leg straight, bring the right knee towards our chest. Deeply inhale. You could use your hands to roll, hold your right knee or use the elbow. Whatever that makes you feel good. Flex the left toe so you're really focusing on the right. Deeply in. And deeply out. Now using your right hand, open up the knees to the right hand side of the body. Then straighten the right leg, some kind of like a T shape, small, small letter T. And slowly bring the right feet to meet the left, being a chopsticks again. Then inhale, bring the right knee towards the chest. Exhale, open up the right knee towards the side. Flex the left toes. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Flex the right leg. Exhale, bring the right feet to meet the left like a chopsticks. Inhale, right knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the knees towards the right side. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bring the right feet to meet the left. A few more rounds on your own. We're trying to warm up our hips deeply. Inhale. Knees towards chest. Exhale, drop. 
Inhale, straighten. Exhale, meet the other feet. Try to draw the circles as big as you can. Rather than stepping onto the stopping onto the four points, you could have one continued break motion. Feeling maybe this crackling sound on the right hip. Remember to deeply inhale and deeply exhale. Now let's change the direction. We're coming to chopstick first. Then inhale, bring the right feet slide to the side, like a T-shape. And exhale. Inhale, bend towards the side, bend towards the center. Then start drawing circles on this direction. You could choose to straighten up your right knee or just keep the right knee bent. You will find a particular point that feels really good for your right hip. Great job. Deeply inhale, remember to breathe. And deeply exhale, beautiful Miranda. The slowing down really helps you to feel every single muscle moving. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Coming to restorative pose, bend your knees. Bend both of your knees, put the feet together and open up to butterfly. Just relax your belly. Relax your hips. Relax your thighs. Feeling if there's any difference between your right hip and your left. Your hands could be in T-shape or could be just right by your ears if you want more armpit opening. The armpit opening should feel really good if you have been on your uh, computer all day. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Keeping your eyes closed, we're going to the other direction. Other leg, straight and both feet. This time, flex the right feet and keep it straight. Bend enough left knee towards your chest. Hold it in first. You could hold it with your hands or hold your left knee with your elbow, whatever that feels good. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. When you are ready, put your hands to T-shape or hands up, uh, next to your ears. Inhale, bring the left knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the left knee towards the side. Inhale, straighten the left leg like a T-shape. Exhale, bring the left feet to meet the right. So you are like the clock, arm of a clock. Inhale, bring the left knee towards the chest. Exhale, drop the left knee to the mattress. Inhale, straighten the left leg, try to get it as high as possible. Exhale, bring it back to be chopsticks. Start drawing circles with your knees. Inhale, bend. Side, exhale, side. Inhale, straighten, exhale, back. In your own pace, start drawing circles with your hips. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Marine, slow down a tiny bit. Feeling the amazing opening of the hip joint. This should also be very stressed and tension releasing for the lower back. Our hips and lower back is closely linked. So your lower back is going to get released when your hips, it's more relaxed. Same the other way around. 
your hips is going to feel more relaxed when your lower back is more relaxed. Can we change direction? Inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, kick it towards the side. Exhale, start bending it and inhale, left knee towards the chest. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, swing the left feet towards the side. Exhale, bend the knees and slowly bring it up. Start drawing circles on this direction. Making sure you are sinking the breath with the movement. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in. And out. Your restorative pose could either be butterfly or you could hug your knees towards the chest. Pick an option that feels good to you. Five breath here. Deepening your inhale. Slow, long, deep exhale. Observe how does your left hip feel versus the right. Try to relax the thighs more so your hips will be more relaxed. Deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in. And out. Bend your knees. What's the chest? Roll over to child pose. So slowly push yourself up. Open up the knees, feet together. Remember the trick with the pillow. If you feel that your hips is too tight, you're always welcome to put a pillow underneath your bum bum. Then hands onto the mat. Try to get the hips to stick with the heels and slide your hands forward. Put one face, up. put the left cheek onto the mattress. Relax your shoulders. Relax your thighs. Relax the hips. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Slow down the breath. So you could slow down the mind. Anchor your attention in the slowly rising and falling of the belly. Turn to the other cheek of the mat and just relax your hips more. The more you could relax your thighs, the deeper your stretch. Deep. 
one last in and out come into side stretch slowly walk your body up then walk your hands towards the left knees bring the belly button on top of the left thighs and slide your hands out either the forehead or one cheek onto the mattress try to reach your right hand further away push your right sitting bone down as much as you can feeling the right torso opening deeply in and deeply out Two more breaths. Slowly walk the body towards the other side. Raise the body up. You can wiggle on your bed if it's a bit smaller. Really bring the belly button on top of the right thighs before you slide down. Push the left sitting bone down. Left sitting bone onto the mat, equal weight onto the mat, either your forehead or one side of your cheek onto the mattress. Deep breath in. And deep breath out, feeling the amazing left torso opening. Sliding the left hand further away and left sitting bones further down. Three deep breaths. Slowly walk yourself towards the center. Lie on your belly. Straighten the legs. Relax here for three breaths. You could use your hands as your pillow for your forehead or just turn one face, one cheek onto the mat. Hands in cactus position or straight in T shape. Feeling your shoulders and your side torso recovering. If you have put one cheek down, turn to the other cheek. Now we are coming to shoulder stretch, hands in T-shape. Put your left face onto the mattress. Bend your right hand and move the right hand next to the face. Now bend the right knee up, parallel, perpendicular to the belly button. Then using your right hand, sorry, yes, using your right hand, Slowly push, roll your body. Push your right knee up. Stab the right feet towards the back. Making sure your left hand is directly at 3 p 9 p.m. The more you can relax the shoulders, the deeper the stretch will be. Deeply and And deeply out. We'll hold here for five long breaths. Find a way to relax your body more. If it's really intense, remember our side out trick. Deep breath into the nose. 
exhale, sigh out. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh out. The more you can relax the body, the more you are stretching your left shoulders. Relax your left shoulders more. This pose is not only good for the shoulders, but also really good for the lower back. Can you relax your belly button more? So your knees, which is up, can drop more. Last big breath in and out. Slowly roll yourself badly onto the mattress again. The other cheek onto the mattress to just relax. Feeling the new blood coming into the left shoulders. All the toxin being flushed away. Setting up onto the other side. Right cheek onto the mattress. Left hand, left arm bent and left hands next to the face. Right leg straightened. Bend the left knee perpendicular to the belly button. Before you roll, check that your right hand is exactly at 3 p.m. Relax that shoulder. Then when you are ready, using your left hand to push, to roll, and step the left feet behind the right thigh. Relax your body more. Relax the right shoulders. The more you relax your left knee and let it drop further away, the more your lower back can feel the releasing and twisting. Making sure that you are breathing deep in now into the belly. Exhale, sigh out. Ah. Deeply in. And deeply out. Two more breaths. Slowly rolling back towards the center, feeling all the new blood coming into the right shoulders. Push yourself back to a child pose. Let your body relax. Relax your rounds. You could even flip the palms up. Really relax the shoulders. You could even choose to rotate the shoulders whatever that helps you recover. Whatever that you are doing. Remember your breath deeply in and deeply out. Two more breaths. The more you can let the belly sink onto the thighs, it's a sign that the more relaxed your lower back is. Last breath in and out. Slowly push yourself up. We're going to set up for frog 
Remember, you're always welcome to bring a pillow in front of you to make it more manageable. So coming to frog, slide your, uh, we are setting up in a child pose first with feet together, knees open, hands in front. Then now bring the feet to 45 degrees straight knees. Yes, you could stay here with your arms up or bring a pillow underneath your belly button and slowly lean down. Turn the face towards one side. Relax your arms too. Maybe it's one pillow, maybe it's two pillow. Find your height. When you feel relaxed, try to slide your knees further away from your body. You could try to wiggle your uh, hips front or back to find the perfect position. Yes, really good. Deeply inhale. And deeply exhale. You have five breaths here. Miranda, you need to try to come forward, maybe just one cm. Just, yes, yes, relax the belly. And relax your hands as much as you can. Use the pillow, hug the pillow. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. If you feel that you could go deeper, option one, slide your knees further away. Option two, try moving your body front and back and find the position of your hips that will give you the best stretch. Option three, flex both of your toes so you relieve the tension on your knees and really working on your thighs. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh out or through the nose. You are halfway through. If you have put one cheek onto the mattress, it's time to turn to the other one. Deepen your inhale and deepen your exhale. If you feel any tension, imagining you're clearing up the body so you can have new space for the type of energy that you want to cultivate. Imagine there's a glass in front of you and that's like half filled with H.O. coffee. You have gathered all the tensions from work today. Now holding into this tension releasing position, all this old coffee is dripping away from your body. Every time when you exhale, it gets out and empty the cup. So that's why your hips is feeling more and more relaxed because you're no longer holding onto this tension. One more breath in. And out, slowly using two breaths to come to child pose. Move very slowly. 
keeping the restorative mood of today. For this child pose, I want you to have knees together. You're welcome to place the pillow in front of your belly to lie down or onto the back of the bum bum. Whatever, experiment with it and see what makes you feel the best. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly, letting it sinking onto the thigh. You are halfway through if you have put one cheek down. Relax your lower body. Relax your shoulders completely letting go. Imagine the empty cup again. Now all the HO coffee, all the tension from today's work has disappeared. And you are now feeling this empty glass with this love and nourishing energy for your body. Every time when you have a deep inhale, you are breathing in this new energy. One breath in and out. Coming to the belly on top of the mattress, just straighten your feet, elbows together. We're coming to the cute crocodile pose. Elbows together, hands in this flower shape. Put your chin underneath your on top of the flower hands and slide the elbows away. Opening the throat. Also stretching your neck and maybe even the top of the shoulders. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. One more in. And out. Roll yourself to lie on your back. Ego twist. Bend your knees onto the mattress. Now, hands in T-shape first, we will later put it onto the eagle hands. Flex the right feet, kick the right feet to the sky. Now put the right knee on top of the left. You're welcome to lift it like this, or you are welcome to um, hook the right toes underneath the left calf, whatever that makes you feel good. If your pillow is very easily rigid, now move the pillow towards the left-hand side of the body. Yes, yes, take your time. Your, let's also try ego arms. So right now, swing the left hands on top of the right. Put it on top of the right. Left on top of the right. Bend the elbows and get the fingers hooked together. Where the more you press the hands together, the more you feel the opening of the shoulders. Try to get the elbows towards the belly button. You would not reach the belly button, but that's the goal. 
deeply in. And uh, for the next breath, we're going to make ourselves into a little ball. Try to bend your knees so much that we'll touch the elbows. Just one breath. Now release the feet. Still keeping ego legs. Hands back to T-shaped position. Drop the lower part of the body towards the left and hopefully your pillow will catch you. If it doesn't, make it taller or get more so you can relax your back. Look towards your left hands. Sorry, look towards your right fingers. Relax your right knee. Relax your right thighs. Relax your right hips. Feeling the amazing lower back opening during the twist. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the air. Just two more breaths. Slowly inhale, bring it back towards the center, knees up. Unhook the feet. Feet together, lie in butterfly position just for two breaths. So feet together, knees open, butterfly position. It's called a reclining butterfly position. Observe if there's any difference of your right and your left hip. Setting up on the other side, bend both knees. Flex the left feet and pawn the left feet to the sky. Then bring the left knee over the right. You're welcome to hook the right left toes underneath the right calf. Or just unhook, it doesn't matter. Now we're coming to ego arms. Bring your arms up. Right hand, right arm closer to your face, right arm up. Then bend the elbows, hook the hands together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So you're opening up your shoulders. Yes, really good. Try to get the elbows towards the belly button. The more you push down, the better your shoulders are opening. And just for one breath, we're going to make ourselves into this little ball. So bend the knees, bend the elbows and get it close to what each other. Hold it for one breath. And slowly put the feet back, back down and hands in T-shape. Now with ego legs, try to shorten the distance from the hips to your feet. So without lifting the body, step it closer. And it's time to move the pillow onto the right hand side of the bed. Hands in T-shaped position, inhale. And exhale, draw the lower part of the body towards the right, maybe touching your pillow. Then turn your head towards the left and feel this amazing ego twist. This should feel steeper than a normal bend your knees twist because with the ego, your hips are in a more open position. Relax your left knee. Relax your left thighs. Relax your left hips. 
deeply in. And deeply out. Relax your belly more so you could twist deeper. Imagining the glass again. You are feeling up the glass with this restorative, nourishing energy. It's like a power bunk. You're charging it with energy that you need for tomorrow. You're emptying any negativity of tension from your body so you will sleep so nice tonight. One last breath in and out. Turn your feet back towards the center and hold the feet. You have two choice. Choice number one, to come to butterfly position for a restorative few breath. Or come to happy baby. This will be your last pose before Safasana. If you choose to come to happy baby, bend your knees, hands onto the bottom of the feet or inside of the feet. Try to bring your knees as close to the mat as possible. You can stay here in stillness or maybe roll left and right to massage your lower back. Whatever that makes you feel good. Every time when you inhale, you're feeling this glass with this beautiful nourishing energy. You feel like a new person. Calm, peaceful, restful, and grateful for yourself to choose to come to yoga class. So you feel the relief. Last two breaths, you're welcome to straighten up the feet as much as you can for one last hamstring stretch. Or if you're ready, already come to Savasana. We're going to meet each other in Safasana. Feet slightly apart. Tuck the shoulder blades onto the mat. So your shoulder blades is flat. Hands onto the side. Just one last deep breath in and sigh out with me. Deep breath in. And ah. One more time. Ah. Relax your breath. Relax your whole body. Relax your head. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. Relax the neck, the shoulders, the upper arm, elbows, forearm, wrists, and ten fingers. Relax the upper back, mid back, lower back. Relax your hips your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles and ten toes. Completely relax every part of your body. Savasana.
Rasa cemas kamaya, cuma sama cuti kamaya. Itromo batang kamaya. Rasa cuma sakamaya, cuma sama joti gamaya, mitroma atang gamaya. Slowly wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, interlace the hands overhead, give yourself a big, big stretch, hug your knees onto the chest and slowly roll towards one side. When you are ready, Push your body into a sitting position. If you have a headboard or a wall, lean onto the wall. Spine tall and straight. Observe how your body feels. Observe how your energy has changed during the practice. Be so proud that you have filled up this little glass with your nourishing energy. We're going to put our hands onto our heart to sing one om and three shanti. Shanti means peace. Feel your body and feel your room with peace. Deep in now into the belly. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer position in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with peacefulness, restfulness, and gratefulness. Bowing forward, namaste. Mm -hmm. 